Jasmine and Monsieur P are a famous cabaret duo who have been touring Europe. They've starred at the Paris Burlesque Festival, the Electro Swing Club at the Java, and they've painted London Town red. Thank you so much for agreeing to do the interview. How's the tour been? It yeah. was so much more than we expected. We just came over to do the Paris Burlesque mm. Festival, and we've just ended up doing loads of fantastic gigs, meeting wonderful mm. people. So the Paris Burlesque Festival, congratulations. And how did you get this gig? Uh, well, I work a lot with the Cabaret de Fils de Joie, um, and Juliette Dragon, and she's an artistic director. She runs the, the festival, and so I work with her constantly. And I sent in the video of us at Slide in Sydney, and we got programmed. But this word burlesque, everyone's using it these days. What does it actually mean? I think it's a freedom of expression. So when we think burlesque, often we think about striptease, but it's a sense of um, being free on stage, expressing yourself. It's comedy, it's tongue in cheek, it's the, something that's over sexualized to make fun yeah. of something, something real. It's, it's not supposed to be taken so seriously. And something out of the ordinary, something out of the ordinary of everyday life. And too. colorful. And colorful, yeah. And you also did a video clip where you were here for Schmidt. Tell me about that. So Jasmine calls me about th a week before I'm due to fly to, the, uh, to Europe. She said, right, you're going to do a f short film. So uh, that's fantastic, great. So the director calls me and she says, right, you're going to be diving into the ocean at midnight at Bondi, um, and then you're going to come out of a bath in Paris. <laughs> Why do you perform? Well, I think that performance is in everyday life. I think performance is everywhere and all the time. And so mm. I think when you're actually putting together a performance, you're actually taking things from life that make a certain resonance inside you and you're amplifying that. Mm. And so it's, it's, it's storytelling. Because I love it. Because I'm a show off at heart, really. <laughs> and I can sing opera and stand on my hands. Just tell me what is the hardest thing about your job? Is it heartbreaking or...? Getting mm. false eyelash glue off. Getting false eyelashes on to oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> because we're also performing in cabarets, it's not a theatre, so it's not actually a proper stage. And so mm. I, at Ducky, I had to tap on a table and people thought that I was going to fall off because yeah. the table was going like this. Yeah. Oh, and Jasmine, just a last question. What was it like being interviewed by your journalistic alter ego? It's not that bad, actually. I mean, I think we could have gone a little bit deeper, but I guess the next time we're in the same place together, we can do another one. <laughs> so, thank you very much. I'll let you go now, because I know that you have to get ready and do the show. So, merde and uh, merci. So that was Jasmine Bray and Monsieur P here on Ruby TV at the Caveau de Légende in Saint-Germain-de-Prés in Paris. Hit the road, Jack. The come back. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more